The chance to invest in the next big thing can be so enticing. Easy money, right? And who can blame real estate agent B.K. Blunt? He traveled to Arizona last year to see for himself an investment opportunity he was told was a can't miss. Now, that armed guard you see there standing next to Blunt, he was one of two guards on site protecting a Phoenix warehouse that Blunt was visiting. Inside, Blunt saw hundreds of computers mining for cryptocurrency, but it was all fake. We saw a bunch of machines running, just rows and rows and rows. BK Blunt met with Jeremy Sowerby at this Phoenix warehouse to see what the hype was all about, a crypto mining center that looked similar to this legitimate operation in Virginia. Sowerby talked a good game. He ran crypto companies like Dunamis Global Technologies, MyBlock Chain Life, MyTraderCoin, and more. Blunt was told he could buy or lease a mining computer and get astronomical returns on his investment. I was like, I'm, you know, I want on. You know, I want in on this, on this deal here. Blunt's friend laid down more than $20,000 on the spot, but something told Blunt to hold off. Well, I'm very grateful. I had an angel or something watching over me. Turns out, yeah, there were a lot of things in that uh, warehouse, but there weren't many computers doing cryptocurrency mining. Mark Donnell and investigators at the Arizona Corporation Commission discovered Sowerby's warehouse ruse. He would give actual tours of the warehouse. He would, you know, do a video uh, call in which investors were looking at and show these machines with these pretty lights on them. What appeared to be hard drives were 3D printed plastic shells. They were shells of nothing. They were shells of nothing. And investors would send the money in. The phoning mining operation, an obvious example of schemes investigators say duped investors worldwide. Sowerby reined in a group of doctors in Las Vegas, a group of realtors in Kansas, investors in Sweden, the UK, Germany, Peru, among others, and of course, people living in Arizona, all trusting Sowerby with their money. We hear these dry terms like investment fraud, but like these are real people. That's the thing. I've been out in trailer parks in East Valley. I've met with people all over the valley. And there's some really sad stories. Unfortunately, I've been in situations where it's clear that it's going to be a divorce. I've been told by other regulators where people commit suicide over, over these losses. And financial experts now say digital asset frauds, including cryptocurrency fraud, now present the most danger to the public. Probably about a quarter of the complaints we get involve cryptocurrency. After Sowerby's arrest, investigators revealed one crypto wallet where more than $50 million alone had been deposited. But for victims, it's not easy getting their money back. We do our best, but generally, whoever's stealing money is going to spend it as soon as they get it. The feds and local investigators are still trying to assess the damage wrought by this one suspect and his partner. I am just getting flooded with emails and phone calls. An average of 50 to 100 a day, says Corporation Commission investigator Tony Brown, all from people who say they were duped by Sowerby. Brown was the first investigator to begin tracking Sowerby after he moved here from Canada. Brown says Arizona has a reputation for telemarketing scams and lacks regulation of limited liability corporations, or LLCs. So I think those two factors make it a haven for scam artists, and it's going to take legislative action. How many other Jeremy Sowerbys could there be in Arizona? I wouldn't even want to hazard a guess. Just the ease with which Mr. Sowerby has been able to move from company name to company name, I have no doubt there are other people out there doing the same thing. Still, Donnell says investors don't have to go at it alone. Before you invest, call our office. We have an investigator on duty. They'll check the records to see if we have any information about it. We can give good information. I urge you to spend a few minutes to check into it. And trust your instincts. Blunt never did invest. I can laugh from my perspective because I didn't put my my foot in the in in the horse crap. You know what I mean? I, I stepped over it. Donnell says the commission has new computer software to track crypto fraud and a new federal law will make it tougher for fraudulent LLCs to hide their crimes. Joe Dana, 12 News.